everyone, welcome back to our video of Ant Will Plays. Today we're playing Nightbound from Choices. Now, in the last video, Thomas came back to life. I think him and I think him and the um whatever the thing is, the that banshee ghost thing. I think those two combined together create like a super something, I don't know. Oh, this Saturday coming up, this Saturday that's coming up is the is the start of Big Sky Country Book Two. I didn't want it to be on a Saturday because I wanted to be on a Monday or something, but it's complicated, all right. And I have work on that day, so I may not be able to. Um, I may not be able to get that. I may not be able to finish it in time. So, yeah, it's going to be a problem for me. So, so here's what I'm going to do. One, I'm going to, one, I'm going, if I have work on a Saturday, then I'll do it on, then I'll do Big Sky Country 2 on Mondays from now on. If I don't have work on Saturday, then I'll just, then I'll just do it then, on that Saturday. Okay. With that being said, let's not have tonight bound. With a terrible enemy defeated, all that remains is to celebrate your victory. Or so you thought. <laughs> you thought. You thought. You thought. I'm sorry. Chapter 15. Lies says Les Bon Temps Roller. Forget it. I don't even know what that word. The morning after your victory over Thomas and his skeletal horde, the the the, the city is abuzz with preparation for the annual Mardi Gras parade. Early in the morning, you and Vera stop by the hospital where your friend Kristen is finally being released. First of all, I need to change clothes, outfits. No. All done. Can you believe we really here? We're really here about to pick up Kristen. Kind of feeling. Kind of feels like like waking up from a nightmare. Almost as if yesterday never happened. Vera breaks into a slow, sweet smile, looking up at you through her lashes. Not all of yesterday was a nightmare. Some of it was pr actually pretty dreamy. You reach out and squeeze her hand, smiling back at her. <laughs> sorry. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. <laughs> I wouldn't mind... Reliving that particular dream. You share a long, lingering smile, then a glint of movement by the revolving doors catches your eye. Oh, I think... Yep, there's our girl now. It's been a while since we last saw Kristen. Kristen emerges from... Emerges from the revolving doors, squinting up into the sunlight. She catches sight of you and Vera squealing and, and with delight as she rushes over. Oh, so that's what she looks like. I'm sorry, I forgot. I forgot what she looked like. Happy day, friends. I'm free. Kristen sweeps you both into a bone-crunching cr group hug. Oof, you're gonna crack my ribs, Cookie. What? Cookie? <sighs> Whatever. Definitely feels like you've got your strength back. Hey, you have. You know how. You know I bounce back fast. I've been dying to get back on my feet. Feels like I've been out of commission forever. How are you feeling? I'm almost back to my old self. It's weird the doctors figured that I'd, I'd be recuperating for way longer. But I started feeling way better last night. 
Yes, I'm just recycling. You hear a strange glance, and you wonder if Thomas' defeat has something to do with Kristen's recovery. Hmm. Well, call me unsurprised. If anyone were to be nominated, most likely to rally, it'd be you. Right. Neither. Your well, high water is going to stop Kristen Jones when there's partying to be done. It is weird, though, that I still don't remember anything about the mugging. It's kind of a bird of me, too. Right, Vera? Yeah, same. And the bits I do remember, I'd honestly rather forget. All, all, a pale descends, a pall descends over the three of you, as you recall the blood wraith attacks. Over the three of you, as you recall the blood rates attack in the alley, Kristen's unconscious form, the bouncer's bloody corpse. Pulling an impatient face, Kristen waves a hand dismissively. Whatever, it's all behind us. Now, I'm just stoked to be, be out in time for Mardi Gras. Can y'all comment below what Mardi Gras is? I, uh, yeah, I know I should Google it, but can y'all just comment below what it is? I may forget, because I have a bad memory. <sighs> she links arms with you and Vera, and you set off down the street together, the sun shining pleasantly on your heads. Ethie's birthday week might have gotten somewhat dera derailed, but we're finally back on track. You sure you're feeling up to the parade, Cookie? We, sh we could take things slow, and miss the most quintessential quintes of all NOLA experiences? How dare! Of course we're going, and it's gonna be amazing. I'm ready for ta tacky cocktails, hot people, mind-blowing, awesome costumes. Speaking of, there's a costume shop pretty close by, and I think it's still early, early enough to beat the crowds. V to the rescue. Let's go check it out. Why do I even bother? Nothing. Vera leads you you a few blocks down to a hole in the wall shop tacked into a squeal side street. Inside, cool air streams welcomingly over you and a familiar... And, familiar, and a familiar face smiles at you from behind the counter. Oh, it's Luke. Or Luck. Or... Comrade Les Alfred. Good to see you in one piece. Luck, it's good to see you too. Can to introduce me to your gorgeous new friend, Anthony? This is my friend Kristen. We went to college together. Enchanté, Kristen. How are you enjoying our fair city? Now that I'm out of the hospital, it's been amazing. The hospital? Pourquoi? Muggers. We were attacked by muggers on our first night here. Yeah. Real monsters, those guys. Luke nods in understanding. Well then. Well then, Kristen. I hope, I hope you get an extra large dose of Mardi Gras magic tonight to make up for all, those, for all that hardship. Oh, I'm counting on it. Of course she is. Rissa scampers off to dig through the shelves and Vera steps forward, offering her gloved hand to Luke. Hi, I'm... Oh, I know who you are. Easy. Vera's... F excuse me. Vera's face fa falls, but a moment later, Luke smiles. He claps her hand in both of his, smiling warmly. And I know what you've done for our boy, Anthony. You're welcome here anytime, Cher. I... thank you. So, what brings you lovely people to my store? Uh, looking for a little sparkle to wear for the parade? That's the idea. Got any tips? Way ahead of you. Ithy, this little number is calling your name. Why do people say that? This outfit's calling your name, man! Kristen holds up a stunning Mardi Gras outfit. I'm not going to say it. I don't want to be inappropriate, but 
Y'all know what this looks like, right? Y'all know what I look like? I mean, I get the fashion stuff, but do y'all know what I look like? <sighs> Whatever. Well, what do you what do you guys think? Don't just stand there. Give us a little. Give us a twirl. Laughing, you immediately spin in a circle and strike a pose. Wow, that looks like it was made for you. Every outfit in choices is made for me. Thanks, Vera. Are you either? Are either of you getting getting anything? I wish, but I literally have no literally no space left in my suitcase. Don't worry, Cookie. We're gonna get you so many beads you won't even and be able to see what's underneath. I always dreamed of becoming a human disco ball to to the party. Bidding goodbye to Luke, you head out of the store toward the main strip, following the strains of laughter and music carried on the breeze. You reach Bourbon Street to find the street eat teeming with extra life and color. Ha ha! It's Mardi Gras! Ha ha ha! That mask is creepy, by the way. <sighs> Costume re revealers mill around the floats, drinks in hand, and a band of neon painted instruments is marching past. Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived. Check out all the vent all these vendors. I think I might need to jazz up my assemble just a s As Christian heads towards toward the stands, you pause for a moment and tilt your head back, letting the richest sights and sound of the parade wash over you. Vera leans in, her voice soft underneath the sounds of How are you doing, I think? You look sort of lost in thought. Missing Alric. For a moment, your throat feels hot and tight, and you swallow back a surge of sadness. All this joy and color. I just feel like he'd have loved it, you know? I wonder how many of these he's been to. What's his fa what, was, what his favorite part was? Oh, Anthony, I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. It almost feels good, like honoring his memory. You feel a hand on your shoulder and spin and spin around to come face to face with Nick and Cal. We gotta stop me like this, Rook. Hey, I didn't think you guys would be here. Me, Miss Mardi Gras? Fat chance of that. Catherine appears behind Nick's shoulder, rolling her eyes. Couldn't he couldn't possibly miss an opportunity to make a fat Tuesday joke. No, is what he means. I stopped by the shift earlier to see if you were there. Anthony found these jokers instead. And look at you, dressed to the nines. He holds you away from him, running and appreciate a grace over your outfit. Yeah, I say, I'm always a fan of, purp of the purple, green, and gold combo. But on you, it's working. You look astonishing. And the Mardi Gras becomes you. I'll say, holy well. Thank you. Kristen reappears beside you, having festooned herself with pink, blue, and white feather boas. She shoots you a meaningful look, winning her eyes. Um, hi, are these new friends, Anthony? Oh, yeah. Yep. Kristen, meet Nick, Catherine, and Cal. We've spent a lot of time together these past few days. Oh, I'll bet. So, great to meet all of you. Great, great to meet all of you, I'm sorry. Now that, now that the gang's all here, who's up for drinks? Hmm. Let's see. Giant margarita. Jello shots. Wine slushies. Jello shots because when I got my wisdom teeth taken out, the only thing I had to eat was soft food, so I just ate jello until they felt better. I couldn't even open my mouth and I couldn't even talk. 
okay, I did talk because they said if I talked, my my uh, my uh, my cheeks will just start bloating. Like, mm. I know it's peak cheesy, but I've been dying for one of those rainbow Jello shots. I like the red one. I like I like cherry. As long as I get like, as long as I get the th green one, it's my favorite. Red is my favorite too. You like Jello shots? Would not have called that one. You know what they say about still waters. She shoulders her way deftly through the crowd and return a few minutes later with an armful of shots. You all clink them together, then you bend the glass over your mouth, the cool sweetness of cherry jello sliding over your tongue. I'm sorry, people. My window's open. Festive. All of you, all about all about you, this is... The sky is straighted with the glass glinted streams, mirrors of sunset fading into the night. As the mum as the mambo music swells, you watch the succession of illuminated floats roll by, marveling at a harlequin a harlequin hmm, a ten foot dragon, a gilded dragonfly. Some of these are just unreal. It is the same ones every day, every year. Some are mainstays for sure. Usually the ones that belong to the old screwers. Cruise. Cruise? Yeah, but with a K. They're kind of like social clubs, organizations that run the parades. Some are super exclusive. Proteus, Rex, Cleopatra, Edimian. They compete with each other. Try to upstage the others every year as heck, but they do put on a good show. As you lean over the security barrier, Cal Pop props himself up on his forearms next to you, his eyes distant and almost wistful. You okay, Cal? You look like you're somewhere else. More like someone, like someone else. Just thinking about all the times my dad brought me, uh, me and Donnie here when we were kids. He loved carnival. Carnival had a real spot, soft spot for it. Some of my best memories of him are here. You rest a hand on his arm, squeezing gently. He looks over at you, his eyes soften. Well, if you have to be lost in a memory, I'm glad it's a good one. He look, hey, look at that one. We built a whole castle. The float glides slowly toward you, escorted by rags of nice riding of tall horses. Make way, rev revelers! Make way for the king! That night reminds me of something, I don't know. Ah, that's the float carrying the king of carnival. Carnival! They always have the best throws. Throws? Party favorite stuff, animals, bracelets, flip flops, whatever works with the theme. I don't want to pet the horses. They might react or something. Now, because. In a sight and sound theater, I don't know if you guys know about that, but um, there are animals, there are actual animals at sight and sound theater. I don't know where they keep them, but but when but when they when the animals go past, you can't pet you can't pet them because they might react to something. They might react to something. They might kick you or try to attack you. <laughs> Ooh, me too. What do we do? Are there rules? How do we get the best stuff? Easy, Cookie. Stop calling your cookie. All you have to do is yell out, Throw me something, mister. I think we can manage that. Ready, Kristen? Born ready. She reaches out a hand to you, and you squeeze it, bouncing on the balls of your feet. Throw me something, mister. One of the knights cocks his head toward the sound of your voice. You catch his gaze, grinning wildly, and he tosses a glimmering handful your way. 
Happy Mardi Gras! Ah, I got one. You uncurl your first reveal. A perfect purple coin, light as air in your hand. A coin? Really? Ooh, you got a double... Dubloon. They're the most convenient throw loot. I got a teddy bear and a chin chain mail. <laughs> I love you, and that is adorable, but this coin picked me. The next load is an underwater paradise. A chariot drawing King Poseidon and a flock of gorgeous shimmering merpeople with incandescent scales. Merman? Look! That one's letting people people up to dance. We need to go. No. No. Nuh uh. <laughs> a mermaid may dance party? A thousand times, yes. You reach for her hand and then follow Kristen through the security barriers as everyone else shimmers through the through behind you. The Mer Queen helps you onto the float, her cuts drawn glinting. Wow, she's actually she's gorgeous. Actually scratch that. Everyone here is gorgeous. I know, right? I'm gonna see if I can make friends and influence mer people. What if those mer people are real? Because I've seen them in the Elementalists too. As she wanders off into the press of ninth, squinted by as you draw Vera close to you. She slides her arms gently around your waist, her body and dulating elegantly to the beat. You draw back a little, admiring her grace. Why are you looking at me like that? Not that I ob not that I object, to be clear. Because you look amazing. Also because I'm really, really happy to be here with you. <laughs> Laughing, she folds herself against you, tucking her face in your shorter shoulder. Me too, Anthony. This the happiest actually. You let your head fall back and look up at the sea of stars overhead, breathing in the night and letting the beat course through you. The song ends and the two of you reluctantly you part reluctantly. Kristen elbows her way to you, grinning. I just heard the best rumor of a particular forthcoming merman. A man covered in shimmering blue paint stands up stands up on a raised platform addressing the dancers in a blooming voice. Listen up, revealers, cause it's time for Poseidon's annual party triad whatever. Under the waves. Who will demonstrate their mastery of dancing, drinking and flirting? Show us what you what you got, y'all. <coughs> You hear a whoop uh, from behind you, and two familiar blonde heads work through the crowd toward the announcer. Oh yeah! Make way for the two-time champions of Delta Rose Rush. We drink and dance showdown. Not these two again. After out drinking the whole lacrosse team, this is going to be a cake. Oh no, we can't let those... It, those guys showed us up. I'm not saying that. You see, can we do it? Can we please? We we have to. We have a reputation to defend. Bounces up and down, losing her feet, giving you a killing puppy dog eyes. Dance. Are you kidding? How is this even a question? We ce we're we celebrating my birthday and we've got four years of undergrad party experience under our belts. Which means, with our powers combined, we are unstoppable. I'm gonna, I was going to say, I was near close to seeing Captain Planet. Yes, let's do this. Squealing with laughter, Kristen gives... Your name's to the announcer, they drag you over the, to the rest of the bead fistuned, glittered, litter face contestants. Excuse me. Chance spots you in, a, in line and breaks into a cheeky grin, 
nudging Garrett in the side. Check it out, bro. The barbaves think they've got a shot against us. Huh. No hard feel. You things when we win, huh? I ought to be asking you. Watch and learn, boys. We're gonna dominate. The crystalline <laughs> beat surges into an upbeat hip hop song. The announcer voice surges through the speakers. First up is the dance challenge. Show us your mood, party people. Are you sexy or are you smooth? Keep it tight or letting, letting it loose. Do not even rhyme at all? Garrett immediately drops into a series of flawless f pops and locks while Chance enthusiastically does the robot. People were... Wha, wha, oh, my awesome circuits are overloading. Psh, what is this, amateur hour? Woo, go Anthony, go Kristen. You look over to see your friends clustered near the edge of the flo float, clapping and grinning at you. Let's see what you let's see what you got, Rook. How's this work keeping you tight? You ramp up your bursting controlled explosive movements, your body thrumming deliciously with energy. See, that is next level. Do the art <laughs>my mic went off again good thing I noticed it just in time she echoes your movements in a looser interpretation of your precise steps until the two of you in flaws sink I see you two killing it y'all have a good thing going over there better keep an eye on us ow that's how you do it at a signal from the announcer, a sparkling mermaid, sp mermaid sp approaches each team with two brimming shot glasses on the tray. Mermaid. Alright folks, next up, grab your partner because you gotta feed the other a shot without using your hand. What? Oh, we got this in the bag. Your student grabs one of the glasses between her elbows. You take a knee, Ian, and, and she deftly... Went off again. Sorry. But again, as I was saying, my pecs, no. Okay, either my mouth. I'll use my mouth. You tip your head back. Back and place the shot glass between your teeth. Then bend down to... to, 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 to I'm sorry. Down, tip the liquor into Kristen's mouth. Wow, this is just like college. Only without the drinking and drugs and stuff. <sighs> Definitely having some finals week flashbacks right now. Nearby, Garrett watches nervously as Chance attempts to balance a shot on his head. Dude, just use your arms or something. That's loser talk, bro. Where is take risk if they wanna? Oh, uh, this is not gonna end well. Is this is going to end well? The shot glass tumbles off, changes it, spilling liquor all over him on the way down. Oh man, party foul! Oh, you and Kristen burst out laughing, almost drowning out the announcer. And on our on to our final event. Show us how you flirt. Yeah, make us swoon, make us sigh, make us fall in love with you. No problem. Shove your hair over one shoulder, winking cheekily at the crowd. Devastating. I set them up for you, Anthony. Time for you to sh knock them down. And I know just how to do it. Uh. Kiss Kristen? No. 
Blow the crowd a kiss. No, no. Yeah, anyway. I'm with v I'm with Vera, so Blow the crowd a kiss. You you sound her up to the stage with a photo then blow the crowd a big kiss. Hey New Orleans, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone. Down the street, your friends laugh as Nick thoroughly pretends to smooth. Careful where you point that thing, Rook. It's just we're clear. Whoa, yeah, I don't think we can follow that. Told you, don't mess with the team, Anthony and Kristen. We're unstoppable. Can y'all come up with some better jokes? I'm sorry, I love choices and all, but y'all gotta come up with some better jokes that can make me laugh. It's like... Ten-year-old jokes. Come on, you and Christian wait with bated bit. You and Chris and wait with bathed breath, clutching each other's hands as the other contestants mill and murmur around you. This year's prize goes to the duo who wowed us, astonished us, who made us swoon, whose faces will grace our Hall of Fame. Come on, come on, Anthony and Kristen. Oh my gosh, we did it. We slayed. Congrats, you earned it. Thanks, boys. No hard feelings? James crosses his arms, pouting stubbornly until Kristen's puppy dog eyes make him burst out laughing. Oh, I can't stay mad at that, that face. Good game, y'all. Oh. I'm sorry I'm talking like that. The gorgeous mermaid. Ew. The gorgeous. Ah! The merman comes over to crowd with coral shaped feathers. Spool, spooled with tinsel while a photographer snaps a series of pictures. Did you hear what the announcer said? Hall of Fame. I know. We came, we came, we saw, we danced our butts off. This town is never going to forget us now. It had better not. Crowned, crowned, you and Kristen dance back over to the group. So, what do you think? More dancing? I thought I saw saw Cico de Mayo float with some with with some pretty serious salsa action. Much as I hate to admit it, I am a, getting a little worn out. It might be time for me to hang up my party shoes for the night. I'm gonna head back to my hotel, but I'm so stoked I got to meet you guys. This was a blast. Nice to meet you too. Any friend of Anthony's is a friend of ours. You want me to walk you back with you, Cookie? Don't you dare. I'm officially passing the party baton to you. Make me proud, V. You draw Kristen into a tight hug. This was wonderful. I'm so glad we finally get, got to do this together. Just so you know, you owe, you still owe me a, a very long, very delayed detailed explanation of how you met all these ridiculous hot people. Seriously, they're all absurdly attractive, like every last one. Are they even human? <laughs> you and the others share muse class. I'll tell you all the stories over brunch. Now go rest up. Maybe she disappears into the throwing crown. You lean over a little, resting your hands on your thigh. Yes. Thanks. <laughs> I could actually use a little break myself. Mermaid dance parties really take it out of you. I scoped out on a bench on a block bench on a block back. Was thinking I'd take a particular break if you want to join me. Yes, please, sounds perfect. You drift away from the others and follow Nick to Sidley's quieter street, sitting down on a peeling little bench under a sprawling magnolia. Nick flashes out a flask of his glass out of his pocket and takes a swig, his throat working as he swells, he offers it to you, eyebrow raised. Yeah, I'm okay. That would be epidemic, no thank you. 
Why is that your drink of choice anyway? I can't bring myself to believe you generally enjoy it. Nick shrugs, was rubbing the back of his hand over his mouth. Long story, but I guess I just like things, things to taste like, taste what they are. <sighs> you, dr you drink top sh shelf whiskey or champagne. It might fool you into thinking you won't be drunk by the time you reach the bottom. Me, I like to know what I'm getting into. You watch him as he takes another swing. His face seemed distant and vague, subtle sadness tugging at the corners of his mouth. Is everything okay? You seem kind of subdued. Nah, I'm just getting ready to wrap things up, you know. It's about that time. Time? What time? Time to say goodbye. Job's over, Rook. We're all standing at a crossroads now. About to head about to head our separate ways. You stare at him dumbfounded. So what? This is it? That's all I was to you, a job? He looks over at you, painted the echoes of inner turmoil etched in his face. Then he clears his throat, shaking his head. Look, it's the way of the world. You do what you gotta do together. And then you move on. You always move on. No. Hurts, but I guess I understand. You watch him reportedly twisting your hands in your lap. I'm not gonna lie. I'm disappointed that you feel that way. I know feel I. I know being self is a, is your thing. I get that, but I thought. Frustrated, you blow air through your lips and rub the bridge of your nose. I thought we were building something real between us. Friendship, at the very least. That's just not how I do things, Anthony. I don't do halfway, and not, not anymore. He stands pocketing his flask and studiously avoiding your eyes. Look, I'm going to head back to say goodbye to the others, maybe. Maybe I'll see you later, Anthony. But if you don't, you'll still be just fine, right? Listen, I don't expect you to understand. I won't be fine, of course I won't. But this is what my dad taught me. It's the only way I know how to make it in this world without letting it grind me down. Your dad, you mean Elijah? Sadly, Nick turns to go and a tear crystallizes into being in his template. Ah. Uh. We're going to skip this, people. Y'all yeah, can read it if you want. I'm just going to skip it. <laughs> that was him. <laughs> wow. That's him as a kid. Wow. This is wow. I think this is the last of the tears, probably. So whenever someone... D this, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of Blade. You know, this guy is Whistler. That's a feral vampire. I've seen that in Bloodbound, and no, I didn't play Bloodbound at all. As I was saying, this reminds me of Blade when he was growing up. Like, he nick his blade as a kid. It reminds me of Blade. Dad.
Yeah, he reminds me of Whistler, and he reminds me of Blade. So, yeah. That's all the tears. My God, poor Nick. What a way to grow up. Never rely on others. Just do yourself. Yeah, I got most of it, so yeah, I kind of skipped it. You rush to catch up with Nick, who's striding back to the parade with his hands in his pockets. Enter Nick just as he's rejoining the others. Cal grins at you, the furrows his brow, his face creasing with concern. Hey, you alright, Anthony? You're looking a little blue. Yeah, is something wrong? It's nothing, I'm just... You steal a glance at Nick, who pointedly looking away from you, his jaw squared tight. I'm, I'm okay, just a little tired, I guess. Well, this should cheer you up. Take a look at the next float. You follow Catherine's gaze to the opponent float, styled to look like a horse-drawn sled in a winter wonderland. Amid the luxury fur throws sparkling red and fake snow swirling in a glow of Christmas lights that you spot. The fate? Is that? She's she's always the belle of the ball of at Mardi Gras. It's the only time she ventures from Yeah. That's surprising. I wouldn't think she'd bother with our petty moral celebrations. Who knows why the Fate does what she does? At least she puts on a good show. The Fate, a ancient's eyes, skimmed the crowd from behind her veil and lacks on yours. You feel suddenly cold, paralyzed by a preposterous weight of knowledge in her eyes. Something's wrong. We have to... The words die in your mouth as a series of shrill, terrified screams ricochet through the crowd. A horrible, familiar, otherworldly shriek rends the air, slicing through the music. You turn toward it and see a horrifying creature streaking toward you, tearing a bloody swath through the parade. Oh, it's Thomas. Oh my god, that's Thomas! What the heck happened to him? Next to you, Nick heaves his crossbow on his shoulders. The amulet! The amulet! We never recovered it! It's been sitting down there! Marinating eating in Thomas's blood this whole time. So in the shaft it fused with him somehow somehow. Is that even possible? Apparently, maybe because the same witch brought brought them both to life. Maybe Thomas's thirst for vengeance was just that strong. Whatever happened and it's even stronger than before. The hideous creature surges toward you, screeching in with infernal fury, effortlessly shredding the gathered feelings into ribbons. The night is shattered with screams as a crowd panics, bowing in all directions. Beside you, Catherine swirls, and swirls out her sigh, and Virus tears off her gloves as Cal falls forward, shifting into the wo a wolf. Her he screams toward you, bodies flying in piley to either side. Cal charges forward, launching himself into the air. Thomas bats him away with a ma with one massive bloody claw, sending him sailing through the blood mist air. Nick runs straight at Thomas, loading a gold glowing bolt in his crossbow. Catherine charges forward. In a whirlwind of glinting steel. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Not today. I'm gonna put you. Face contorted into a wild ritus of a grin, the creature reaches out and swats Catherine away. The Nick reaches for another holy light arrow, but his quiver is empty. He looks. He looks at, to you, his anger bleeding away in horror and despair. Anthony, the, the Thomas creature grabs Nick by the throat and hurls him away. Nick crashes into one of the floats, his limp body tumbling down to rest among the sparkling stars. Uh, Thomas streaks toward you and Vera, glowing 
his glowing eyes bulging with rage. Run or fight. We need to run. You grab Vera's shoulder, spinning her around to face you. Vera, come on, we need to go. Vera shakes off your grip and steps in front of you, palms lifted, her face hardening into the resolved. There's nowhere to run, Anthony. As Thomas surges tw fo toward you, Vera hurls herself into his path and presses her hand over his face. Black veins creep out over his body, his bony features, and your heart leaps with a burst of hope. Why won't you just die? The black tendrils flicker as the spider web is plied flesh, strobbing in and out of sight. Hey, and, fizz and fizzle out of uh, like dying sparks. Thomas knocks Vera to the side almost casually, then burrows toward you in a black and crimson streak. Terror surges through you, wild and sickening, and turn. You turn to run, but he's too fast. He lands right in front of you. His skull lashes out, glistening with blood, and plunges into your chest, tearing through your flesh, burrowing past your rib cage. A gray buzzing stag subsumes your vision like an angry swarm as the agony may be on any you've ever known roars to your chest. You gasp for air, but all you feel is clawing, rendering slashing pain, consuming you from the inside out. And then, you feel nothing at all. What? Wait. Wait. So I just died? Did I just die? Did I just die? <sighs> we'll figure it out when we get to the end. Probably the finale is next week. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Share this with your friends. Comment below what you think of the video. If you want to get notified of all the videos I put up on my channel, go hit the notification button next to the subscribe button. I'll see you all in the next video.